Okay, we have another side angle side situation. This is one where we want to use the law of cosines. Again, you can't use law of sines here because we don't have enough information. We don't have a side opposite the given angle. So instead, we're going to go ahead and use law of cosines. Now, there's three different versions of law of cosines. The one you want to pick is the one that allows you to solve for whatever side you're looking for here. I want to solve for uh, side B, as indicated here. So we want to use the version of the law of cosines that actually allows us to solve for B. So I have B squared equals A squared plus C squared minus 2AC cosine B. So the question is, how can you remember this type of formula? Well, whatever letter that you use here, the other two letters are used in the rest of the formula. So if I have a B here, that means I'm going to use A and C, and also A and C appears here, and you have a 2 that's always part of it, and you always have a cosine. The letter here is going to be the capital letter of the version that you have here. So in other words, if I wanted to make this formula start with A for A squared, then I have A squared, then I would have BC, BC here, and I would have an A on the end there. So that's kind of a way you can remember the formula. You're just using the letters that you haven't used here. So whatever letter is here, you just use the other two. So let's put in the information and solve for uh, B. So for, for that, we're going to put in my A, the A value is 3, the C value is 2, and then I have 3 and 2 over here, and then we also are given uh, angle B, angle B is 91 degrees. So this whole thing, you should be able to put into your graph and calculator and get the answer instantly. Otherwise, you can look at my notes, and I do break this down separately, but you should be able to put all that in in one step, and when you do, you get 13.209 with some more decimals that come after that. Don't forget to take the square root because it's b squared equals and you want to get b by itself. So if you do that, you're going to get 3.63. Now I should mention here that if you're using one of those online homework grading programs, you should probably take that out to some more decimal places because if you use law of signs or something else later, that means that if you round this answer, it may round your other answers for your angles here. And by doing that, you may not get the right answer online because it might be picky with the way it has the decimal point. So probably you want to expand that out to a couple more uh, decimal places than what I have here. But for, the, for this video purpose and my notes, I just used two decimal places. Uh, it's a close enough approximation. So 3.63 I have right here. And so the next thing is I want to solve for uh, angle A or angle C. So I can use either law of sines or law of cosines with that. I'm going to use law of sines. So uh, I can do that because I have a side opposite a given angle. So I'm going to do sine of 91 degrees over 3.63 will equal, I'm solving for uh, A, and if I want to go for A, that means I have to use uh, 3 down here. So I'm going to cross multiply and solve for sine A. I get 3 sine 91 over 3.63. And that's going to give us this decimal, 8263, with some more decimals. You want to take the inverse. So you're taking the inverse of A, and that's going to give you uh, 55.72 degrees. Do you have to also find a second solution? No, in this case, we already have all three sides. So therefore, you don't need to do it again. You're only going to get one solution. Suppose we did do that, subtract this from... 180. Well, if we take that answer and add it to 91, we'd have an answer more than 180. So therefore, we don't need to worry about a secondary solution here. In this case, we're just going to get 55.72 degrees. That's this one right here. So once we have this one, then we're going to have to go for the last angle, which is going to be C. So since we already have this one, now for that one right here for C, you just subtract these other angles from 180, 180 minus 91 minus 3.63 and if you do all that the answer you're going to get here is 33.28 so this is 33.28 that does solve our triangle we have all three sides and we have all three angles